Hi there, happy Friday. Friday, Friday. Hi, this is Tina Marshall and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what um, I wanted to bring you some tips to get through the weekend and keep uh, striving for your goal. So we know that this um, weekends are typically are the hardest part of keeping on track and reaching your health and fitness goals. So I wanted to share with you some tips that can help you get through the weekend and make sure that you're coming out on Monday not behind and regressing on on your um, on your fitness goals so the first thing I want to talk to you about is what are you going to do this weekend no really what are you gonna do so first of all I would schedule your workout so when will you be working out make a plan um, plan to Make a plan and stick to it. If it's unless it's your rest day, if if it's your scheduled rest day, then take your rest day. But you know, it's also a good opportunity to get out and do some walking and get some extra steps. And even if it's your rest day and you're not doing an official official workout, if like if you're on one of our beach body programs, then um, take a take a walk. Get make sure you're getting movement in. So uh, number two would be drink your Shakeology. For those of you who are drinking your Shakeology, most people. Um, you know, if they're slacking on their Shakeology, they'll take the weekends off. And really, that's when you should really be making sure you drink your Shakeology. Because what happens is you, uh, when you don't drink it, your food cravings will, um, your body, you know, it's not getting what it needs. So if you're not feeding your body what it needs nutritionally, either with food and Shakeology, then it starts to say, hey, what's going on? And when you're not drinking your Shakeology and eating correctly, then your body will um, will will go backwards and you, you'll tend to get cravings. So you'll want to make sure that you drink Shakeology and double check your vitamins. So um, you might be doubling up and not even need to buy those vitamins. If you're on Shakeology, there's a super bunch of uh, vitamins and minerals and probiotics and nutrition. It's all in there. Dense super soup food is what Shakeology is. So you might actually even take your bag uh, of Shakeology to your doctor and have them check it out. And, you know, I bet they'll be pretty impressed because they like to see that. Um, number three is drink plenty of water. Don't forget your water. Um, don't stop trying for those ounces and make sure that you pay attention um, and get your water in first thing in the morning. Get a big glass of water in first thing in the morning and then you'll be, um, you'll be set and hydrated. A lot of times when we get to where we're thirsty, that's because you're dehydrated. You have not been drinking enough water. So make sure you get your water in. Number four is don't skip meals or snacks. Just because you're going out to dinner or to a party or something, Skipping meals is a no-no. Don't do it because then what happens is you get to where you're going and you're famished. So what do you do when you're famished? You eat more than you should have. If you would, um, A, make sure you're having your meals. They don't have to be big meals. Make sure but make sure you're eating regularly and you get, get some you know good nutritious food in you or your Shakeology. That's a great thing to drink before you go to a party or a barbecue or something a couple hours before. Make sure you're getting the nutrition that you need because when you get to that party, you never know what's going to be there. It might be some choices that you decide that um, you're going to hold off on because you, you've got a plan and you're working towards your goals and you don't want to eat that fried crap food or chips and dips and that's what they've got. So at least then you can... Um, hold off on some of that food that's not so great for you because you've already eaten your good food for you or you've had your Shakeology. And number five, going to eat out. That's another place where people a lot of times will get off track on the weekends because we're going to eat out Friday night. We're going to go eat out Saturday, whatever, birthday parties. Um, so if you're going to eat out, check out the menu. If it's a place you haven't been before, call them up see what's on the menu a lot of places have menus online so that's a good good thing to do and like I discussed in one of my previous um, videos which you can go back and listen to is um, what did I discuss oh I discussed eating out and some tips and tricks and some things that you can do such as asking for salad dressing on the side um, cheese on the side grilled um, or baked um, protein 
and ask for extra vegetables as opposed to potatoes and planks or something like that and fries. Get a side salad. And so eating out, make sure that you are drinking your water and that you plan for what you're going to have ahead. Dessert and wine, probably not the best to do together. Pick one or the other and in moderation. I'm not saying don't have it. I'm just saying in moderation. So those are some tips. And the last one I have, number six, is to don't lose sight of your goals. Be mindful. Think about what you want. Um, don't don't go undoing everything you did Monday through Friday and you got in a good start and don't go undoing all that on a weekend of splurging and just not being mindful and thinking about what you're eating. So I wanted to ask you to um, comment below some of the um, challenges you might be facing this weekend or any weekend. What are some challenges that you face over the weekend when you um, get off your routine? I know for me, Monday through Friday, I got it dialed in. I know what I'm doing. I get up, I go to work, I come home. I have my meals at the same time. I eat a lot of the same things because I've shopped for the same things and I, I have a plan. Weekends, a little bit more lax. We're not sure, quite sure what time we're having breakfast and we're having, you know, gonna get up and have coffee and then we'll have breakfast a little bit later. But, um, or, you know, like say, we may be going out to eat and then you um, forget to eat. So be mindful, drink water, get your Shakeology in you, plan, and that's what I got for you today. So make it a great weekend. I hope that you have a great weekend. And again, um, comment below. Let me know what you struggle with over the weekend because I'd like to know. And, and that will give me an idea of maybe something I can share with you later on. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. And talk to you later. Bye.